leadership, it's not a title, uh, it's an action. So it's not about I'm a leader and therefore you become a leader, it's what you do. It's the way you do something, is the way you do everything. And we actually look at six traits. Um, so the, the, the six traits, the first one is uh, that you can challenge and be challenged, um, that you have a growth mindset, uh, that you are driven to succeed, really important, uh, that you're a communication champion, that you're proactive and inclusive with people. And the last one, you're a role model. So on the field and off the field, you're a role model that people want to aspire to be like. Now, if you are one of those, if you have one or two or all of those traits, consider yourself a leader. Can everyone be a good leader? No, I don't think they can. I think some people are too selfish to be good leaders. I think some people don't have the ability to open, this, open themselves up. Quality of a leader is your actions. And being able to be vulnerable, you've got to be able to show that you have weaknesses too and that things do hurt you and out of that vulnerability you can actually you can push yourself forward and you're willing to grow. I think the most important thing with any man management of people is that you've got to learn about the person, you know, because we're all different and we all have different things that, that, that make us happy. We all have different things that um, that have different emotions towards us and different goals that we're striving for. But if no one ever chooses to ask you what those things are, how can they manage you? How can they work with you as an individual and try and get the best out of you? So we start that relationship, that, that open sharing of, of what, what's important to us. Um, and then from there, uh, a whole new world opens up and people tend to be quite receptive to, to your support. I tend to be motivated by uh, what I say I'm going to do um, and to try and be the best I can be. Um, and how do I make other people mo I don't. I can't make other people motivated, but ideally through my actions, people may find motivation in that. But at the end of the day, that's in them. And I attempt as best I can to ask the right questions to allow them to stretch themselves and to allow them to be the best version of themselves that they can be. Yeah, as a rugby coach, you, you're never too far from failure. Now, when you fail, that was yesterday. You're not failing today. Today's a brand new day where you can do something pretty special. What's going to happen tomorrow? I'm not sure yet, but if I plan well today, I can do something pretty special tomorrow. And that failure, I've learned from that, but I'm not living in that past. I'm not living over here either. I'm living today because if I do my stuff right today, tomorrow's going to be good. I'm really comfortable with responsibility. In fact, I think it's one of the key values that, that underpins um, us as human beings. Are you willing to take responsibility for your actions? Uh, and I always say there's, there's two people. There's those that, who are above the line of responsibility and those that are below the line. And um, you know, we call it the, the, the BCD. Do you blame, complain, defend? Or do you take accountability of what you've done? The first thing we're looking for then as a team player is someone that A, is, is coachable, I think that's really, really important, and B, is selfless, that you're, you know, they're here to get better for themselves without a doubt, but they're there to do things that um, will be for the good of the team. And one of the things I ask the players is with every action you do, even when no one's looking, ask yourself the question, will it make the team play better? And if the answer is yes, then do it. Well, for, I think culture is everything. So culture to me underpins everything. Um, so you've got to have a culture that, uh, that is said before I, I learned it. It can't be Andy Friend's culture. It's got to be our culture. So what's important to, to us as a group, as a staff and as a playing group? What's important to us? How do we want others to see us? So. Once we buy into that and we, and we decide what it is that we want to be viewed as, 
Um, now we've got the, the foundation to build everything else on top of that. And everything else comes out of the commitments we make around our culture. So the greatest teams I've ever been involved in have had a really strong culture that people have bought into and they live it. They live it on a daily basis. Um, the most rewarding thing for me as a leader is to see people achieve. And uh, I always talk about two levels of, of achievement. I reckon there's a, a perceived level of ability um, and then there's a real level of ability. And the greatest success or the greatest joy that I get as a, as a leader uh, is to see people go beyond the perceived level of, I thought I could be this good, but really I'm this good, and then achieve something they never thought they could achieve. Uh, and the sheer joy they get from that is pretty special.